Hi, everyone, and welcome to Meet a Neuroscientist. Today, I'm here with Jennifer Gray. Um, Jen, can you tell us what program you're in and what year you are? Yeah, hi, everybody. So I am at the GSU Neuroscience Institute, and I'm a second year PhD student in the lab of Dr. Nancy Forger. That's really cool. What do you study in Nancy's lab? So we do developmental neuroscience, and specifically, I am looking at cell death in the brain at the time of birth and how inflammation in the brain and in the body kind of impacts that, and whether inflammation in mom also imp impacts uh, inflammation in baby's brain. Wow, that's really cool. And what kind of methods do you get to use? Um, we do a lot of various methods. So I do a lot of qPCR um, immunohistochemistry to look at microglia activation and cell death. Um, and uh, we also look at cytokines, um, which are just inflammatory signaling molecules. We look at cytokines in breast milk, in blood plasma, um, as well as in um, maternal uterine tissue. Wow, that is true as well. Too cool. So where did you go for undergraduate and what did you study then? So I went to a little liberal arts college in Austin, Texas, St. Edwards University, and I got my undergrad in biology and behavioral neuroscience. Oh, fantastic. That's so cool yeah. that your, your undergrad had a neuroscience major. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's see. Do you have a favorite brain or neuroscience fact that you'd like to share? Um, let's see. Well, it's like a I think really it, hard question. I, I know, know there's so many, so fun, many. Fun facts. <laughs> um, I think it's incredibly cool that at the time of birth, uh, humans have around 100 billion neurons. That's pretty awesome. Uh, oh, so I think yeah. that's kind of cool. That's insane. Very cool. Um, and now we're going to turn to just kind of getting to know a little bit more about you. Um, do you have any, any pets, any roommates you'd like to share with us? Anything like that? Well, I don't have any pets of my own, but my mom has a dog, Milo. He is half Shiba Inu, half rat terrier, and he is insane. Um, he's two. <laughs> and then um, here in Atlanta, I live in a house with six roommates, and it is a fun time. <laughs> wow, that's got to be so fun to have all those people around you. Yeah, yeah, and I feel really fortunate that we're all really good friends, so like living in a perpetual party. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. And then do you have a favorite musician or band or something like that? Ooh, I, I think I really like oldies and kind of um, funk sounding music, Motown. Um, I think my favorite artists of all time are going to be Stevie Wonder and Jimi Hendrix. And I also really Ooh. love Judith Hill. Um, who's more like a modern artist, but she does a lot of like oldies and funk sounding. That's really cool. I'd love to hear that. All right. And then just kind of to wrap any, everything up, is there anything you want to share with people who are aspiring to be, you know, future scientists? Yeah, of course. Um, I know it's not easy, and especially if you're in some sort of like minority group, like a woman in STEM or people of color in STEM, but um, honestly, follow your dreams, never be afraid to ask for help and seek out help for sure. And know that if you build a strong support system, you can literally do anything you, you want. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. Well, thank you so much for sharing your time with us, Jen, and your thoughts. And um, yeah, bye everyone. Bye.